some good loot. Hi guys, welcome to our latest unboxing video. This is uh, a large shipment that's just coming from the Gibson Custom Shop. We've had 26 guitars arrive. Uh, we've got 18 that are available. We've got uh, some others up there that are already sold, uh, but these 18 here are all uh, guitars that I handpicked when I went to the Gibson Custom Shop last month. Uh, I went there solely with, with the purpose basically of, of choosing 60th anniversary Les Pauls. Um, we, we already had a lot of really nice custom shop stuff as well, but the, the hot topic for this year has definitely been the um, 60th anniversary model. So I just want to go there and ensure that we had basically the, 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 uh, the absolute pick of the best basically and all, and all the, uh, the best Les Pauls I could find. So this is what's in here. There's a couple of stragglers uh, as well, a couple of nice 335s that I picked out. But if you're looking for gold tops or SGs or anything like that, this isn't the video. So um, uh, maybe wait for the next one. So let's, uh, let's start with the first one. So this is uh, Orange Sunset Fade. So 60th anniversary Les Pauls. They all have the unpotted custom bucker pickups. So really sweet musical top end, even when you're using a fair amount of drive and all the new paper and oil caps and stuff in there. All right, so let's check this one out. See if they're as nice as I can remember them being. Yeah. How's it gonna look if we go out in the sun? Do you reckon I could walk out to the sun with it maybe? Have a little bit of sunshine on it? I'd say that's pretty nice. So orange sunset fade. We're gonna have to uh, raffle through this one pretty quickly because our photographer Adam's off tomorrow and we wanna get all these up on the website, Sharpish, so. Do your thing, T-Bone, or Bone, as you are now. Yeah. You need to put the labels in here, don't you? Yeah. Otherwise it'll kill you. Right, all the guitars come with these nice 60th anniversary little book. So there we go. I'll leave you to sort that one out, Toby. And I'll start opening up the next one. Right, so the next one is gonna be uh, Sunrise T-Burst. All these guitars are all examples with uh, Indian rosewood fretboards. They do them with the Bolivian rosewood, which I really, really like as well. Um, but they're just running through what seems like to be more with Indian rosewood anyway. So these are the, the newer lacquered five latch case. So a lot more authentic to the original Liftons. Lovely. Like that. See, really, really sweet top, super light. Don't know what the exact weight is, but we'll soon find out. Again, get in the light, looking pretty sweet. Makes sense. Okay, T bone, that one seems to be missing a screw. Very cool. Right, I'll let you sort that out anyway. Cool. Get that down to Adam to do his thing. Lovely, right. Okay, so this is a Royal Tea Burst. So this is one of the best selling colors from last year when they introduced a lot of these new different burst finishes. Let's see how this one fares. I'll leave that there for Toby. Lovely, yeah, Royal Tea Burst. It's a nice pinstripe maple top on this one. So what I tried to do was kind of mix it up and get a kind of a, a nice choice for our customers to, to have some different kind of figuring going on. That one's really nice, got some watermarks kind of going on in there and the flex in the, uh, in the grain. That's, that's lovely. While the sun's shining like this, it's rude not to get them outside. There you go. Thank you. Thank you all. Right, we'll wrap, we'll try and wrap through this as quick as we can. I'll just pop that there, T-Bone. So, what do we have next? So this is a cherry tea burst. So basically they have this whole bunch of 
different burst finishes that they're offering now. And it kind of starts with a real kind of factory kind of uh, cherry color, cherry burst, I think they're called factory burst. And then it goes all the way through to like the tobacco burst type sort of things with all the different shades of, of kind of iced tea and lemon bursts, all those different kinds of things as they go through. Get it open. Oh, this one? No, I haven't. Oh, lovely, yeah. Stunning top on that one. See that? Let's get that out on the light as well. So it's almost got a kind of a little bit of like a feathered angel kind of quilt to it. Really stunning finish. Really get that out there in the light. It's got a real killer top on it. Or just. What do you think, Toby? Digging that one? Oh, look at that. That's great, eh? Proper 3D as well. Yeah, okay, here we go. You need the old switch tip. I got it, yeah. You got it already? Yeah, cool. He's done this before. Okay. I'll leave that one there for Toby. All right, next one is Green Lemon Fade. So this is one of our most popular finishes. All the uh, the lemon burst type sort of colours from Gibson always seem to sell really well. Oh, you've got your knife on your air toe. So right, let's give it a cut for us. Lovely, thank you. They do the golden poppy as well, which has been a real good seller for us. Okay. I did well. Just unreal. You kind of, when I pick these guitars out and you go there and they have all those guitars to choose from, you kind of, it becomes a, a kind of a, a thankless task. It's in, impossible to choose sometimes, but there's only a certain amount of money you can spend as well. Otherwise I'd have bought them all. That's a beast as well. Nice. Lovely. Thanks, mate. Right, okay. So why don't I... You'll do one more, one more Les Paul and then we'll crack out one of these 335s. Oh, has, he, uh, has he left this box? Cut. Oh, move on to another one. This one. Come on, T-Bone. Oh, we need the knife, mate. Cool. Right, so this is another Royal Tea Burst. Fantastic stuff. That's it. Beauty. light you call that really authentic kind of reminds me of what's what's in the book beauty of the burst well wow. really sweet nice Got some buffing compound of thing on there naughty boys Got some weird Ooh. aging going on with that one <laughs> all right lovely okay yeah, so let's, let's open up one of these 335s. Three, three, let's have a, a bit of a break from the burst. The burstage. It's almost as big as me. So this is a Nashville made custom shop, 63 block inlay uh, 335 in antique Viking red which was a, a colour they did on the JD Simo Collector's Choice 335 that came out about three years ago, I think it was. Maybe three, four years ago. <clears throat> okay. Very nice. 
nice, yeah. So lightly aged Viking red finish. So 63. Let me see. Some very light, very light buckle rash. Some cracking in the finish there. That's lovely. Really, really good weight as well. Great neck on it. Pretty, pretty slim. It's going to be a nice one. You know, it's a, a good example of a 63 style, that's for sure. You can do the rest there, Toby. Yeah, nice one. Okay. Got it? Yeah, got ya. Good man. Right, okay. So we'll go back to the last one in a sec. So, you got your knife there again, Toby? Yeah. And we'll leave that over here. Put it up on the shelf. This delivery man's going to ruin our video. TNT. So we could film him frying all the stuff around, shall we? Or is he doing a collection? He's probably doing a collection. All right, let's just pop this on here. So I completely forgot to say what this one was. If you want to go in there, get that one sorted. Oh, look at that. Let me, so this one is, what did it say? Yeah, Southern Fade, this one is. Let's get this out in the light. Again, nice pinstripe. Type top. What's going on? What's going on here? Absolutely monstrous top. Pinstripey. Absolute killer. Digging it. Got a bit of fleck movement there. Very nice. To you. Uh, yes, so that's you the go. box for it there, that one. Cool. Thank you very much. This out of the way. We've got a bit more room. Okay, so another one in Southern Fade. It's definitely getting warm out there. So kind of very similar to the Bourbon Burst type finish. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, Billy Gibbons kind of colour on his Les Paul. At one point when it wasn't, hadn't lost all of it fade, I guess. But yeah, that's, that is super sweet. Again, some nice kind of mineral flex in the top there. Like I said, we've had a good mix so far of all the different types of tops. Um, and some of those, uh, there you go. Not this one. Thanks, mate. I'll bail that off for you. I'll let you do it. Okay. So pretty cool so far. Right, Kindred Burst. So this was a colour that was from the Joe Perry Les Paul that they did. Uh, about five, six years ago, maybe maybe longer, but it's kind of um, hung around and been special ordered a few times as well, but it's now part of the uh, the lineup for the 60th anniversaries. So it's a, kind of a darker tobacco, but a more of like a honey type center to it. Thanks, Toby. Great. Another one with a real sweet top to it. Get it outside. Don't need to move that one. That's just got it. It's done it. Switch to you. Lovely, 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 lovely. Thank you. Right, we're getting there, getting through them. But you know, we could we could easily, you know, buy all our stock and just order it in directly from Gibson. But not only do I love going out to the Gibson custom shop and seeing my friends there as well, I just think this gives us a, an opportunity to get the, the best selection of 
of guitars possible to offer our customers. And you know, I'm not saying the uh, the stuff that we get directly from Gibson isn't great, but it's it is fantastic. We had some guitars coming the other day that were just ones that were just ordered, and as it came in, they 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 had great tops. But I like to make sure that everything that we get is the best that we can possibly achieve. And I know a lot of people are going to be turning 60 this year, and being that it's the 60th anniversary of the Les Paul, this is a good time to buy one. Look at that. Well, this one's light, very light. Kind of reminds me of the Collector's Choice uh, number five, the Donna, I think it was. Really, really lovely. Hope everyone's enjoying this so far. Lighting up their day. Digging that one, Toby? Quite, it's nice, isn't it? Nice wide flame. Nice wide flame. Right, so let's check out another Southern Fade. Okay, Toby, so this, this one here is for that empty there. I know I'm messing up your system here. That's alright. Yeah, right, so this was one that, as soon as I saw it at the factory, I really wanted it because uh, I'm not seeing any more that don't have the uh, pit guard on. I mean, I personally quite like them with the pit guards on anyway, but when you get a top as good as this, it's nice to have all that all that flame showing. Got a, can't really see that well, probably out in this light, but with a glare, but a really nice fretboard on there too. Super good weight as well. I think that one's gonna be definitely low eight pounds, that's for sure. But literally, Toby's just taken them down to Adam now to be photographed, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have them on the website as soon as we can. So we're getting there somewhere now, okay. So we've got Southern Fade next. I think it's some. There was there was three left-handed. Two of them are already sold, but there's one left-handed one available still. saying beautiful but about the best word to describe it again you've got some nice kind of watermarks in the wood there i love these colors as well there's not too much kind of red in there it hasn't got that pizza burst whatever it is that a lot of people like to call these clown or clown burst type sort of finish again really really sweet weight as well very nice thank you very much when it when it comes to like some of these deliveries that's it's like when I'm at the factory, you, you, you kind of become sort of a little bit desensitized to it, but when you see a single one there on its own, you know, some of these tops can just really, really blow you away. So this is another one in Southern Fade. Uh, what else have we got here? Yes, let's, let's just go with this one again. Again, I really love some of these colours. They've got a real, you know, when you look through all the Beauty of the Burst books and some of the newer Les Paul books that are in there, you know, they're really nailing this kind of yellowy orange patch in the centre there really, really well, and that one really moves really nice too. There you go, mate. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, where are we at next? Perhaps um, we'll get out this other 335. So I think, I think this is pretty much the same as the last one, but I think it has a VOS finish to it rather than the, than the aged finish. But let's, have a, let's have a little look, see. So basically, same as what we had last time. We'll get out in the light and just see it a bit better. Yeah, so basically the same thing again, just with a VOS finish with a slightly doled off hardware. Um, yes, not much more to be said, really. It's just a lot of people are asking for Nashville made uh, custom shop 335. So when I saw these in probably what I think is the best color for a 63 style, it had to be done. So we've got down to the last three Les Pauls. Okay, so, ah, golden poppy burst, left-handed. So let's see how this one is looking. Oosh. Lovely. It's one of those times you're going to wish you were as a lefty. Lovely. I know I'm running out of adjectives to use, but let me uh, let me try. No, no, I won't. Okay, mate. Go on, see if you can play a chord on it, Toby. The, oh, yeah, see if you can play a chord on it the wrong way round. Uh, no, the wrong way round. Oh, the wrong way? Well, oh. the right way round if you're oh, lefty. No way. You can't even hold an A, can <laughs> you? That's bullying in the workplace. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna... God, I will not stand for it. Yeah. Right, okay, down to the last two. So we've got a cherry tea burst. Well, we've got two cherry tea bursts, so. I was just trying to go for a combination of the kind of colors that we know sell really well for us and also just really good weights and really nice looking tops as well. So it wasn't a specific thing where I just chose on the colors that I like or anything like that. I just tried to get a good mix of uh, the different finishes and kind of grain patterns. There we go. One for the uh, for flame lovers. Lovely. Making the sun go in. Lovely. We're down to the last one. Lovely. That's a beauty. Right, so let's see how the last one fares. They probably put the wrong one in the box on this last one. We've waited all the way to the end and it's probably a, a black Les Paul custom by mistake or something. No, let's, hope, let's hope not. <coughs> so the final cherry tea burst. Last guitar of the day. Doesn't want to be opened. Here it is. Oh, there we go. This definitely was actually one of my favourites because it's definitely got some wild grain going on. You know, PRS fans look away. It's not a you know super uniformed figured kind of uh, book match type sort of top, but it just looks 
you know, just looks real. Just looks like the best that Mother Nature can offer. Look at that. You just know once these guitars get played and they fade even more, they're just going to look unreal. Lovely. Excellent. Right. Well, that con 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 concludes today's uh, unboxing uh, uh, activities. We've got, what, what else did we have come in? Just something to let people know what was up there. Yeah, it was just more, uh, more 60th anniversaries. And we've also got a, our um, Joe Perry uh, aged and signed, which is already sold, which is going out to a customer shortly. So um, yeah, hope you like the guitars and you enjoy these unboxing videos. Um, yeah, keep an eye on the website, peachguitars.com. And uh, yeah, just let us know what you think and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.